So this is the task for lesson three, uh, an energy saving poster. And the LO is, I can design a poster displaying the benefits of energy saving. So we will now look at an example of an energy saving poster. Now, I quite like how this poster looks. It's quite a big one. <laughs> You'd need a very big sheet of paper to draw this on. I can't even display it fully on the screen. And what they've done is they've done a cross section of a house. That basically means where they've cut the house in half. So you can see all of the rooms and they've given tips for how you can save energy. And you can see the tips, they're these little circles, they're quite difficult to see. So if you click on them, then they give you some information on how to save energy. This one, I clicked on the attic and it says seal it up. Think of the exterior of a home as a giant barrier that protects the inside from outside heat or cold. This family has added insulation to their attic, exterior walls and basement to keep this barrier strong. As a result, the temperature of the house of their house is kept comfortable with less energy use. Okay. Um, we use the word insulation also when we're talking about heat, not just electricity. An insulator prevents uh, electricity traveling through it. But when we're talking about heat or cold, it prevents cold or heat traveling through. Yeah. So it keeps the house at the right temperature. And they put this in the top of the house at the attic. You lose a lot of heat from the roof in a home because heat always travels upwards. So yeah, so I clicked on that symbol. You don't need to use these ones because these ones are about saving water, but we're not looking at that today or this week. We're looking at energy saving. Okay, of course it's important also to save water, but for now we're just looking at energy saving. And you can see here, there's other symbols. So both energy efficiency and wise energy behaviors are needed to save energy. Energy efficiency is managing the consumption of energy through the use of efficient technologies like low flow water devices, LED bulbs, or a smart thermostat. Efficient technologies make saving energy easy. Wise energy behaviors like taking a short shower or turning off the lights are important ways for people of all ages to save energy. Okay, so that was a bit long. When you design your posters, don't write great big, because I'm sure half of you were falling asleep when I was reading that. It's quite long, okay? And a poster is supposed to be quick and easy to read. People don't spend half an hour reading it. You know, that shouldn't be an essay. So from this, you could just say, use LED light bulbs, for example, or uh, turn off the lights when you're not using them. Yeah, it just needs to be something short and simple like that on your poster. There should, of course, the poster should be mostly a picture and then bits of short sentences or text to inform people what they have to do. So here, the light bulb. Again, this is a bit too much information. It's interesting though, light emitting diodes, LEDs, that's what it's short for, light emitting diodes, are efficient technologies. They use at least 75% less electricity. So here there's a lot of information about light bulbs. Okay, you can just say use LED light bulbs or LED bulbs. They use a lot less electricity. Okay. Um, Let's see, what does it say here? This is nice and short. Save electricity by using it only when needed. Baby's favorite show is not on, so neither is the TV. Okay. Um, brother is turning off the lights as he leaves the office. Good plan. Okay, yours could be even shorter than that. Okay, this is about phantom electricity. Um, I'll summarize it for you. Phantom electricity is when devices are using electricity even though they're not really on. So for example, your TV, it might have a little red light at the bottom, which is on, even though the TV isn't on. Now that little red light means it's still using electricity. There's still electricity flowing into the television. Okay, uh, so a lot of my monitor now, I can see I've got one monitor here, which is off, but there's a little light. So that means it's still using electricity. There's a lot of devices like that. They give the example of on the oven, there might be a clock or on a lot of devices, there's little clocks. Well, that will use electricity even if you're not using the device, okay? And it's the same for a printer or speakers. If there's a little light on, it means that they're using electricity. Okay, so you, the solution for that is, unfortunately, you have to remove the plug from the socket to stop it using all electricity. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, that was the phantom electricity. The door, seal it up. So this is about heating um, to make sure that you're not losing heat or if you want to keep your home cool, that you're not uh, losing the cool air inside your home. But, yeah? Well, um, it could be that I've missed some. You mean this one? This is a smart switch, a smart outlet. I'm not sure if it saves, 
that much electricity. You know, these days you can, uh, using wireless internet, you can turn your lights on and off. But um, to be honest, that uses electricity as well because you need the internet on and you need to use your phone and then the plug socket needs to use electricity. So I'm not sure how much electricity is saved there. It's just a convenient way of turning the light on and off. Yeah, and some lights have a remote control as well. Um, yeah, to be honest, the best way is just to turn the light on and off yourself. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what's this one? Get set. Setting the refrigerator between, okay, this is the American temperature. In, the, in Europe, we use a different temperature. We use Celsius, okay? But basically, they're saying to not make your fridge so cold. You don't need it really cold. You can just have it on a low setting. It doesn't need to be extremely cold. That's water. We're not doing water. This one, this is the thermostat. So this is about heating your home. Um, and they're basically saying when you're not at home or when you're sleeping, you don't need to heat your home, which is true. <laughs> you shouldn't really need it. Okay. And here again, on the window and on the doors, they all have seal it up, which means um, uh, making sure that you have, here they use uh, blinds, drapes. You might have curtains to cover the windows. And then this is in the basement. They've got a washing machine. Wash it well. Uh, so they're saying you can wash with cold water if you want to save energy and also make sure the washing machine is full. Don't wash like one item of clothing. Uh, yeah, so it uses heat and of course it spins. It also uses water, but we're not looking at that. And I think this might be the dryer. Clothes dryer have a filter that should be kept clean. Okay, so you need to keep it clean, then it works better. It will dry your clothes quicker. But I don't think in Ethiopia you need a dryer really because it's not so cold. You can dry it normally on the washing line. Uh, I'm not sure what is she doing. She's getting rid of the rubbish. Ah, this is about the furnace. Okay, a furnace is basically the heating um, and they're saying to keep it clean. I'm not sure if all houses have a furnace, so you have to see if that's useful or not. This looks like it's a boiler. Okay, uh, now I know I have a boiler in, in my apartment in Ethiopia and that uh, doesn't have one of these. This is like a cover. Um, it looks like a coat for the boiler and it stops heat uh, leaving the boiler. So the boiler is used for heating water when you want hot water, like a shower or for cleaning the dishes. And yeah, it's a good idea to cover it in something so it doesn't lose its heat. That will save electricity. So I should put something on my boiler. I don't know if I've got, maybe I've got an old jacket I can put around it. Uh, okay, seal it up. So this is about the pipes, just making sure that the pipes are properly sealed. Okay, so where the hot water runs through, because of course, a lot of heat energy is lost that way as well. Okay, oh, here's another light bulb. This LED night light is very energy efficient. It uses only a few cents of electricity per year and helps dad not to be afraid of the dark, okay. And um, yeah, energy, if you want to see how much energy something is using, usually on a device, it is measured in watt. That's not W, it's not W-H-A-T, it's W-A-T-T. -T. I'll just switch back to my camera. Um, Okay, so here I have a light bulb and on it, it says in very small writing, it says 5W, you might not be able to see it. There's so much text there. But anyway, it says 5W and that means it uses five watts, which is pretty good for a light bulb. Um, it's not much electricity. So the, the amount of watts that something uses is basically the amount of energy. Some things use a lot of watts, W-A-T-T-S, um, like a vacuum cleaner uses a lot, a boiler, anything which heats something. So if it uses a lot of energy, the number will be very high. As I showed you, this light bulb, this is an LED light bulb. It only uses five watt. But if I check, I'm pretty sure my vacuum cleaner, when I checked last time, it uses 1,600 watt, which is a lot of energy. Yeah. So imagine if I leave, if I just leave the vacuum cleaner on for half an hour, how long, if you compared how long I could leave this light bulb on, if I could use this light bulb loads. So vacuum cleaners use a lot of energy. Also kettles. I'll have to check how much my kettle uses, but anything which heats something. And generally, if something gets very hot, it's using a lot of electricity, okay? If you feel it, so if I touch my computer, it's quite warm, so that means it's probably using a fair amount of electricity. Yeah, but if you want an exact number, you have to check the bottom of the electrical device. Not all, you can't see it on everything, but um, on light bulbs, it shows the amount of watts that it should show uh, the number of watts. Now, brainstorm is where you have a little cloud in the middle, um, so first of all, I write uh, saving energy um, and then I, I do a little cloud around it. Um, this is to help us design a poster. It's always very good when you're designing something to put all your ideas uh, somewhere. So saving energy, what ways are there of saving energy? Turn off lights. Um, 
when you leave the room, yeah, when you leave. Sorry, it's taking a while to the the room. Okay, uh, whatever ways are there. Oh, that's a good one. Don't because that's pointless, right? You've got enough light. Don't use lights in the day. Yeah, I suppose you could say open. Yeah, I'll put that in brackets. Open curtains. Okay. Right. Um, and turn off. See, I'm not even writing full sentences. You don't have to turn off TV when not being. I'll put watched. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what type of light bulb did I say this was? Yeah, that's five. That's right. That's five watts. Um, that's well remembered. Okay, but it is a certain type of light bulb. It's called an LED. Most light bulbs are LEDs nowadays, but um, so use LED light bulbs because they use a lot less electricity than uh, the older light bulbs. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? What did I say about my boiler? What should I do? Good. So, uh, or maybe I'll use the word insulate. Okay, that means it stops the heat traveling out. Oops. Okay. Okay. In. Okay. Insulate the boiler. Okay. And make sure the washing machine Oops. is full. Okay, so that's one. And for a separate one, we can say use lower temp sure um, for the washing machine house yeah use cur drapes are light curtains they're bigger and heavier okay they yeah so they're, they're light curtains they're a bit harder to pull they're often tied up at the sides um, they're used for usually they're used for very big windows um, I'll show you a picture in a minute. Use curtains to keep the heat in. Okay, and so you see here in the picture, they're basically like curtains, but they touch the floor. And here you might use them, for example, if you have uh, these what are called French doors, where the doors are like windows, really. Um, so then in order to cover, because there's so much glass, you might have a, a very big curtain. Okay, so the difference is the curtain does not touch the floor necessarily. Here are types of window covering, drapes, curtains, um, shades, and blinds. So your poster should have uh, most of this information. It shouldn't be, the sentences shouldn't be too long. Uh, choose carefully the designs you want to use, what you want to draw. And um, maybe if you can't draw something, try and draw something else, yeah? You don't have to draw everything. It does... Um, yeah, but I'd need a bit more than that for the poster, okay? So you might, yeah, you could do that, but maybe as well on the side, like making sure, so you'd have a little design of a washing machine maybe here. So that's quite a good idea, turning everything into a, th yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I just said that you could change this into a washing machine somehow, I'm just doing a quick doodle. And then here we have the light bulbs. Um, of course, I can't do it as nicely as you'll be able to do it. So here I have my light bulbs. It's a very basic design. And, um, and the thing coming off the bottom. Okay. Um, then you can have the... It looks very messy. Mm, so it's a good idea to plan it in pencil first, yeah? Uh, to be honest, this is too messy. It should be... Because it's difficult to read, isn't it? If I do it like this. But you can make sure that the text is on top. And maybe rub out. So you rub out parts where... I don't know if I can do that, though. I just... Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay, but I, if you, I can't rub out the small part, but you'd rub out here so it's not going over the text. Yeah, this is, I should, because then if I planned it better, I would have put the LEDs over here as well, because this is all to do with lights. This is a TV, this information is for a TV. So I would do, I'd draw, maybe I'd put that on a TV, this bit of information. Yeah, <laughs> but this, this is the problem. I didn't plan it very well. So now everything's overlapping. It's better if the stuff isn't overlapping. Yeah, and I need a little, yeah.